Um, also, guys, guys, hold up. Hold up. I think we, we got it. Okay, stop everything. Stop the presses. Sean Penn is on the ground in Ukraine filming a documentary about Russia's invasion. We're good. Okay, we're good. Fuck. Thank God. Thank God, dude. I was thinking to myself, like, how will we solve this conflict? Motherfucking Sean Penn, dude. The director specially came to Kiev to record all the events that are currently happening in Ukraine and to tell the world the truth about Russia's invasion of our country. A translation of a statement from the office of the president reads. Doesn't giving rivals as civilians make them combatants? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a unique situation. On the one hand, you're being invaded, so you have to fucking uh, defend your country. On the other hand, yes, you do become an enemy combatant. We need Spec Ops Steven Seagal. Well, Steven Seagal will be on the Russian side, so... Maybe they'll like, okay, here. Okay, here. Here's what we're gonna do. Sean Penn on the Ukrainian side, Steven Seagal on the Russian side, because he's obviously Steven Seagal, uh, anti America, loves Venezuela, loves Russia, uh, says he is uh, from the continent of Asia now, like the entire continent. So we get Steven Seagal to do Aikido against Sean Penn. The winner of that hand-to-hand -hand combat gets to, uh, you know, give the entire country to whoever they are championing. Trial by combat. Now, of course, uh, Champagne, uh, allegedly good at beating women, might think Steven Seagal is a woman, so that could be uh, helpful. Okay? That could be helpful in this situation. He might think Steven Seagal does have long hair. Steven Seagal, on the other hand, literally just not even aware of fighting. Like, he's just never actually fought someone who hasn't, like, taken a dive. So I don't know. Yeah, he has the misogyny passive. Do you think if the Ukraine campaign goes well, Russia will shoot for Belarus too? I fear this might be the first day. What do you mean, dude? Belarus is already Russia, dog. What the fuck? Are you serious? Belarus will most likely... Belarus is like democratically going to become a... Well, not democratically, but you know. You know what I mean. The, the fucking... Belarus's uh, uh, leadership has uh, Putin's fucking... Boots so far shoved up their asses that they literally invaded Ukraine at the behest of Russia last night. What are you talking about, dude? Belarus is like, why not me? They're looking at Ukraine and going, mm hmm, why not me? Why won't you annex me? If anything, people should be fucking scared in Georgia. Like, you're talking about a country that is literally a vassal state that is currently invading Ukraine at the behest of Russia, okay? That's insane. Here are all the Ukrainian territories that are occupied by Russian forces, okay? So, I guess the information on Maria Paul was uh, bullshit, uh, for the record, because they were talking about how, like, they moved into Odessa and Maria Paul... Um, this is coming from, this is directly coming from, uh, I think this is coming from the Ukrainian, um, I think this is coming from the Ukrainian, uh, interior ministry, so it's not like, Belarus didn't even tell the troops they were going to be fighting. France is insane. France says Putin needs to understand NATO has nuclear weapons. What the... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Okay, let's fucking chill. Okay, let's... Let's... Let's be... Let's be chill. Let's... What? You can't tell me... What? I'm sorry. What?
He's not wrong, and mad has been a thing for decades, dude. I know, but, you know. <laughs> what a comically terrifying headline. Bucket launch the nuke, see who survives. Well, not any of us. In Slovakia, there are people who are Nazis, but also Slavs, but also support Putin. Yeah, uh, uh, nationalism is kind of the fucking name of the game out there. Trudeau just announced new cyber support to Ukraine, which includes a brand new top of the hour ad break. Fuck you, dude. That's mine. That's you can't. At the top of the hour, there's a 60.